next video continuing with operations with rational numbers is multiplying with fractions so we've got some models that we're going to do um, to, to show how multiplying with fractions works um, and we're going to use some color with that uh, as well as some notes and some practice problems and then um, next we'll go over dividing so for now what you want to do is uh, take these and you're just going to cut this out okay and you don't need both of them you just need one of them for this one you have six uh, coordinate planes or, or grids um, and you're going to cut out all six of these individually so you can pause the video and go ahead and start that and when you're finished cutting everything out, we're only gonna use four of those uh, grid uh, grid planes. And you're gonna take this, you have this diamond. You're gonna fold it back, okay? You can put glue on the backside here and you're gonna tape it down so it's kind of in the middle. And we're gonna do some multiplying fraction problems over here. I'm gonna do these two and then you're gonna do those two on your own. So I'm gonna zoom in here a little bit so you can see it. Um, here's how we multiply fractions. So when we have proper fractions, okay, we multiply the numerator, and then we multiply the denominator, and then we simplify. So for example, so for example, if you had like three eighths times one fifth, you multiply the numerators three times one is three, and then you multiply the denominators eight times five is forty and then you would simplify if you can. So since there's no number that's, uh, or no factor that's in common between three and 40, um, we can't reduce it, so we would leave it as three over 40. So that would be our final answer. <clears throat> now for this one, if you have mixed numbers, Okay, you first want to convert it to an improper fraction. So 2 and 2 thirds would become 8 thirds. Because 2 times 3 is 6, plus 2 is 8, so you get 8 over 3. 3 and 1 fourth, again, you want to convert to an improper fraction. So you get 3 times 4 is 12, plus 1, so 13 fourths. And then you multiply just as you would with proper fractions. So 8 times 13 is 104, 3 times 4 is 12, and, and so we can convert that to a mixed number by first reducing, so 4 goes into both 104 and 12, and that gives us 26 over 3, I'm sorry if it's hard to see there, and then we can make that into a mixed number. So how many times is 3 going to 26? It goes in 8 times, and there are 2 left over, so 8 and 2 thirds. So we're going to do these two problems um, as a model up here at the top. We're going to do 1 half times 3 fourths. So as a model, what we can do is we can take 1 half of this grid, and we can shade in one of them, right? So we're going to cut it into 2 and we're gonna shade one of them. So let's shade the left part. And you don't have to actually count out the grid marks, um, especially when you have like ninths or elevenths, like there are only 10 squares here. So yes, I did half of 10, which was five and did five squares, but you don't necessarily have to do that every time. Um, in fact, it's gonna be hard to do ninths when you have 10 squares, um, but Let's keep going now. So we're multiplying that by 3 fourths. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go now the other direction. So where before I did 1 half and I went up or down. Okay. Now I'm going to shade the other way with 3 fourths. So I want to split this into fourths and then half of a half and just three of them are going to be colored in one two three 
So let's see what we get for an answer here. We did one half, right, times three fourths. And we know from our steps here, we should get three eighths. So let's see how many parts we broke this whole down into. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eighths. So there are eight eighths, right? Now, how many are crossed? Like how many are in common shaded in? It's just these three. So the answer for this one is going to be three over eight. Okay, each of these represents an eighth. And we're gonna do the same thing over here. We're gonna do three fifths. So I'm gonna divide this into fifths. And I'm gonna shade in three of them. One, two, three. And I'm multiplying that by one half. And that shading goes the other direction. So let's see how many um, parts did I break this hole up into? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I broke that up into tens. And how many cross shades did I have, or how many did I have in common? So it's one, two, three were shaded for both. So that should be three tenths. And what you're going to do is the same thing, but your problems are going to be four elevenths times two fifths and two ninths times five sevenths. So you're going to do those two problems using the model. Okay. And um, when you're done with that, show your teacher and you'll be ready to move on with division. So when we're dividing fractions, um, here's our, how I want you to start out your notes. I don't really have um, handouts for this one. Okay, so it's just going to be kind of straight up note taking. So to divide fractions, we actually use what's called the reciprocal. And the reciprocal helps us to divide fractions because it allows it allows us to change from division to multiplication. Um, <clears throat> here's why. So here's what I want you to write down in your notes. Um, a reciprocal is the value needed to have a product of one. You find this by flipping the numerator and denominator. So for example, two times what number would be one? Well, to figure out what this number would be, you rewrite two as a fraction, so two over one, and then you flip it. So of course, you may have already known this, but two times one half equals one, okay? So you can do it really quick, like two times a half is one, and, and not think about flipping a numerator and denominator or having to change something into a fraction. But if you have something like 165th uh, or 165 78ths, and you want to figure out um, what number times that would give you one, all you have to do is flip the 165 and the 78. And that would give you the reciprocal. So let me show you the steps on dividing with the fractions. So first, we're going to keep the first fraction. So that one stays as it is. So our first example here is with proper fractions. We have 3 fifths divided by 2 sevenths. So this one stays as 3 fifths. And then we change it to multiplication. And we're now going to multiply by the reciprocal, which means we take 2 sevenths and we flip it to 7 over 2. That's a bad looking 7. And now we're going to multiply. That's 3 times 7 gives you 21 over 5 times 2, which is 10. 
and then you can make that into a mixed number. So how many times does 10 go into 21? And so it goes in 10, 20, not 30. So it goes in twice with one of the 10 left over. So that's two and one tenth. <clears throat> now, dividing mixed numbers is just as easy. We first just have to convert them to improper fractions. So two and three fourths, that becomes two times four is eight plus three is 11. So that becomes 11 fourths divided by one and two eighths. So one times eight is eight plus two is 10. So divided by 10 eighths. And then now we can do the keep change and the reciprocal. So we keep 11 over four. We change it to multiplication and we flip the second number. So this becomes eight over 10, right? And now I can multiply straight across. 11 times eight is 88, four times 10 is 40. So that's 88 over 40. Now, let's change that to a mixed number. So 40 goes into 88, let's see, 40, and then 80, and then it would be 120, so it only goes in twice. And then that's 80, so we'd have eight left. And I can further reduce this, so two and four eighths. What goes into both four and eight? Well, we kind of did this earlier, four. So my final answer is gonna be two and one half. So that's how you divide with fractions. Now on the left side, I'm gonna give you some problems to do on your own. So you're gonna be four multiplication and four division. So on the left side of your book, you're going to do the following eight problems. You're gonna evaluate three fourths times two eighths and negative four sevenths times six eighths. So remember your negative and your multiplication rules. One and two thirds times five, two and three eighths times negative one and one third, seven eighths divided by one eighth, negative three divided by one fourth, four and three fourths divided by one and one fourth, and the last one is two and three sevenths divided by negative one and one seventh. When you're done with that one, um, show your teacher your answers so you can prove that you're ready to move on to the next step.